When Austin was born, he was our first, and he was a perfectly fine, healthy baby boy. Then when he was around two years old, we started suspecting that something was really definitely wrong. It actually took about five doctors to figure out that Austin was deaf. When he was about five and a half, we did a blood test and his blood sugars were elevated, and they said that he's diabetic, and we were being told not only did he have optic atrophy, he also had cataracts, and he was only five years old. And they had to pick me up off the floor. It was, it was devastating. We felt like we were just hit by a semi-truck. <laughs> he had the clinical part of what they call Wolfram syndrome. Wolfram syndrome is a group of four symptoms characterized by hearing loss, diabetes, optic atrophy, and renal problems. I didn't report school at all just because uh, I get teased a lot or made fun of. I was just basically bullied throughout my whole school years. One time on the playground, Austin picked up the soccer ball to play with and the boy came up and took his implant off of his ear and threw it in the sand. He is pretty much prisoner to his implant and his insulin pump and his glasses. I'm deaf completely. Without my implant, I don't hear anything. I test my blood four or six times a day. The older he got, the worse the cataracts. He really is scared. He said, I know I'm hearing impaired, and that's OK. But if I lose my sight too, I don't know how I can go on. When you look in his eyes today, it's like a wax paper bag, very cloudy. Basically, my vision's horrible. It's a very blurry sight. I still get the whole image, but just not clear. The hard part now is that he hasn't been able to get a driver's license. When I go to work, I have to take the bus. For the doctor's appointment, my dad will take me. Now that he's an adult, he's wanting to go on dates and be very independent. I've had cat ass for the past 17 years. It's just been a struggle, and uh, I just want to live my own life, a normal life. Well, what Austin suffers from is something called Wolfram syndrome, and it's, it's, very, it's a very rare inherited genetic problem. It's maybe in about one in every 500,000 people, and you can see here there's a lot of different aspects to this. First, diabetes, basically high blood sugar. The pancreas stops secreting insulin, and your body can't regulate the blood sugar. You lose weight. You're chronically fatigued. Also, something that's not related to blood sugar, but it sounds similar, something called diabetes insipidus. This is when your pituitary gland doesn't secrete a hormone that tells your kidneys to operate normally, so you secrete way too much urine, you have, you have excessive thirst. And then deafness, problems in the ear, hearing, and then renal problems, kidney problems, difficulty uh, with your bladder control also has part to, do, part to do with the diabetes insipidus. And then finally, probably one of the most devastating parts of this is optic nerve atrophy, problems with vision, especially colorblindness, and it's just a very devastating diagnosis. On Austin's eyes, they've been affected by Wolfram syndrome, left him with poor vision, cataracts, but this is where ophthalmologist Dr. Greg Feinerman steps in. Let's have a look. With Wolfram syndrome, it affects the optic nerve and causes cataract. We're gonna get rid of one of the problems today. And what we wanna do is we wanna give Austin the most natural vision that we can. The crystal lens is a revolutionary lens technology. It'll bend, so when the eye muscle bends to say you wanna read, it'll bend and it'll let you read. You can see the cataract dead center right there. That cloudy part in the middle, they look like spokes of a wheel. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of the astigmatism by creating a relaxing incision at 100 degrees, which is right there. Perfect. The next thing we're gonna do is inject a jelly-like substance inside the eye to slow all the movements down and to protect the eye structures. So now we're gonna peel the lens capsule so we can get inside to the cataract. You can see the, the white parts, that's all the cataract that clouds the vision. In seconds, it's just vaporized. We're gonna just vacuum away bits of lens. And we're gonna make it perfectly clean in there. It looks fantastic. And then we're gonna put in the crystal lens. The crystal lens has been preloaded here and it's in this injector. So we're going to press on the injector and let it unfold with watch the lens go inside the eye. Well done. <laughs> 